Hey what's up guys welcome to another exciting design tutorial with UX Mate. In this video we are going to learn how to create advanced drag and drop interaction in Figma. I hope you guys have checked my previous tutorial on drag and drop if not no worries uh, you can still follow this video. So uh, in the in the in the older video I have covered the basics of you know the trick how to create the drag and drop interaction but in this video we are going to uh, take a step ahead and would be you know creating an advanced interaction of the drag and drop. So what we are going to do is we are going to you know uh, change the uh, like we are going to allow users to change the priority of you know those uh, tasks here with the drag and drop interaction right. So let's jump into the tutorial well if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it because uh, it will keep you you know informed with all our upcoming videos so let's let's jump into the video and uh, as as usual you know i have created a couple of you know uh, frames here which uh, basically uh, have uh, some some hero image and then we have some you know uh, heading and some description about the task and then we have a couple of uh, frames in an auto layout okay nothing fancy it is just a simple auto layout and a couple of frames which uh, has you know a uh, drag icon which can use it and user can easily understand from where they have to drag and drop okay so uh, what we'd be doing would be you know dragging this first record to maybe you know uh, somewhere middle or at the bottom or you know anywhere we want so, okay so uh, also, you know, just to, you know, let me just close this. Okay, just to, you know, uh, uh, make it, you know, very simple and easy to understand. What I have did is I have, you know, defined the names to the frames in a sequential order. So, you know, it helps us to understand, okay, which row we have selected and which row we have to shift, uh, you know, at which position. So with this, you know, it, it keeps uh, the design, uh, you know, well structured and it helps us to define the interactions okay so let's you know uh, quickly create a duplicate of this uh, let me go to the design mode let me create a duplicate of this okay uh, great now i have a duplicate what i have to do is i def define uh, basically you know i have to uh, move the row one to let's say uh, after row four okay so let's just you know uh, move it one two three four okay after the row four right and now what I'd be doing, I'd be selecting the row one in the first frame. I'd be clicking on the prototypes. I'll be, you know, uh, simply creating a prototype instead of on click, I'll be doing on drag. Okay. And then I'd be saying navigate to uh, my, my second frame taste two maybe. Okay. Then I'd be having a smart animate interaction and then I'll be having uh, 300. Okay. That is fine for now. Let's quickly test the interaction. Okay. Uh, so now yes you can see uh, this interaction has been added and when I drag okay uh, my you know basically uh, elements are shifting and I can simply drop it here okay so uh, <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this uh, definitely you know there is more than this okay uh, so this is something we created a simple interaction but now what if you know I want to highlight while dropping I want to you know create uh, uh, what we say like create you know more uh, interactive uh, way of you know doing this so what we would be doing we'd be creating a component out of this right rather than just you know uh, working with the uh, frames we'd be creating a component a reusable component and then we'll be doing the drag and drop interaction with the component okay so uh, let me close this let me quickly create a copy of this or uh, I, don't know, I can simply delete this let me select any one of these and uh, pull it out uh, side of the frame okay this is my row I'll define a component out of it okay great uh, now what I'll be doing uh, <coughs> mm, what I can do okay I don't know worry yes uh, so I'll be you know uh, creating a property let's say uh, a variant of the component okay and what we'll be doing would be having a hover variant okay so uh, then we'd be creating an interaction within the component okay uh, on click rather than okay uh, uh, mouse enter or while hovering let's say mouse enter for now let's just test with this change uh, to 
this one instead of instant would be having smart animate and now what would be doing would be changing some properties uh, of the second uh, uh, variant you know so let's let's just you know change the stroke maybe to uh, some other color and maybe you know uh, let's make it two pixels or two points basically yep uh, i'll simply copy this and replace my first row here okay or you know let's let's replace all of these here or uh, let's just delete this because uh, i need to you know rename them uh, one by one so let's create just uh, one instance here and then duplicate it so figma will automatically rename them in the sequential order okay uh, let's create five or six copies of this let's create you know uh, a duplicate of this and then uh, the same interaction uh, this time uh, okay let me just see if this works okay navigate to that's fine on drag and uh, rest looks good just change its position from here one two three maybe somewhere here okay now let's just test this okay uh, see now you know uh, we have this uh, hover effect and you know we can still do the drag and drop okay uh, but guys if you have seen okay there is a problem okay we have you know created the whole effect but it is not uh, you know, going back to the original state yes because we haven't created that interaction in our component right so now let's do uh, a reverse you know uh, interaction from uh, uh, from you know this this uh, second variant to the first variant where you know uh, instead of on click this time would be saving mouse leave okay so uh, guys if you use you know hover interaction rather than mouse enter or mouse leave basically you know hover uh, doesn't allow on click interaction so either you know you can have a hover or you know you can have a on click interaction uh, uh, in the in, in, in on you know any of the elements so what we can do is we can use this mouse enter and mouse leave interaction trigger points to uh, do the you know same thing let me just you know refresh this and now you can see when i'm you know uh, taking my mouse on the element it is hovering you know it is giving me a hover effect and it is you know leaving as soon as i leave it okay and now i can still you know drag and drop it right so uh, i hope guys you know uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial still you know definitely we can make a lot of you know enhancements we can have a scale up effect we can have you know a scale down effect while dragging and dropping we can do a lot of creative uh, you know uh, things with this the thing is we just you know need to make uh, uh, one more copy or you know another copies of this and then we can do that uh, uh, the uh, what we say like the scale up and you know uh, just to you know show show you let me just create a duplicate of this or let me just pull it away I'd be releasing this on track. I'll be making a copy of my first frame because I want to scale this up. Um, I'm not sure if you know this would work with, okay, that should, no worries. Uh, as you can see you know i am in the auto layout and i have the clip content on so it is you know uh, scaling up weirdly and uh, clipping the content so let's create a center aligned frame okay uh, hopefully that should work now let's create an interaction here on click or you know on on while hovering let's come here and then let's you know select this one and uh, on drag okay smart element trust uh, looks good let's you know just test this out okay so when we are you know hovering our mouse it is changing the uh, color as well as it is changing the uh, size of it and then i can still you know drag and drop it right so with this you know we can be more creative we can you know uh, create multiple interactions so let's say uh, let's you know just simply undo this and uh, Let's say you want to, you know, create the interaction in a in a smoother way where, you know, you are uh, shuffling through each and every element. Uh, just, you know, just your choice. Uh, I have just uh, 
uh, change the you know, I have just removed the scale up thing here okay okay I guess it is not let me just do it one more time and okay yes now it is so what we are going to do let's say you know uh, this is going to be our end frame and let's say we want you know uh, I'll just uh, so we want to you know shuffle through each and every element rather than just you know dragging and dropping it to the last element let's you know let's just move it a little bit up uh, so we don't need to create multiple duplicate frames here uh, okay, I yeah, I'll be just you know shifting it to the third position. Okay, and how would be doing that? Let's say you know uh, I'd be creating uh, you know I'll be selecting this. I'll be creating on drag from the first frame to middle. Okay, on drag, and I'll be doing smart animate. And what I'll be doing? I'll be just moving this to you know uh, one position down. So with this, you know. Uh, I can just shuffle it through the one element and then on further I can do you know on drag sorry on drag which will you know take me to the third frame okay and I'm keeping smart animate uh, in you know all of the interactions let's just move this a little bit closer now let me try to refresh this uh, I guess that is done already or oh, not not yet okay So now if you see you know it is switching between uh, each element okay um, now we have created you know the one way interaction in the same way we can do it in the reverse direction as well so let's say you know I want to uh, move it from third position to second and then uh, second to first okay so we'll be doing same way uh, we'll be doing on drag and you know okay uh, and then uh, from this to this on drag okay great so that's it so let me just you know reload this interaction now you can see okay I can uh, I guess there's some glitch in the figma I need to always close and reopen this ideally that shouldn't be but you should be able to refresh your you know uh, restart your prototype and refresh it automatically with this restart prototype button but it is not happening uh, due to some reason but anyways yeah uh, I can you know drag and drop it to the uh, second position I can still you know drag and, and I can move it to the uh, third I can do it you know in the reverse direction as well I guess okay we did on click sorry my bad let's do it on drag uh, let me close it and restart it again no uh, so now you can you know drag it to the like from the first to second and then you can do it in the reverse direction as well okay so you can do it in you know uh, the uh, the same manner I can you know keep on playing with this so if you want to create a complicated you know uh, thing you what you can do is you can create a component of you know these uh, three six or you know these um, uh, uh, five six elements one component itself and then you can create you know the all drag and drop interactions within the component and then you know uh, you can create multiple variants in the component uh, and you can you know have those interactions created in the component itself and then just put a component in a frame so you with that you know you don't need to create the multiple duplicates of the entire you know uh, entire your uh, um, uh, artboard or canvas you can say uh, let's quickly explore how to do that okay I'll just you know uh, create a copy of this right so we have row one as a copy now I'll create a duplicate of this uh, I hope it is renaming properly row 1 okay row 3 row 2 row 2 okay let's just make it row 1 and then this as a row 2 okay I'll select both of them I'll do an auto layout and I'll do you know a couple of copies let's say uh, three or four copies here and I'll say it as a uh, rows okay uh, as a plural and then what I'll be doing I'll be keeping it as it is nothing has to be changed uh, I'll make a component of this okay so now I have one component which is uh, at the atomic level where you know I can modify row properties like I can change the colors uh, of you know all the uh, elements from one component itself okay and then I have uh, these uh, uh, like the uh, the copy of the one components in an another component which is my rows component okay now what I'll be doing I'll be creating all those drag and drop interactions in uh, this component itself how we can do it so we need to create you know a variant of this properties a variant okay uh, let's create one more variant of this and this time let's just you know select this and have uh, let's say 30 just to you know distinguish or maybe a little bit more 
50 uh, just to you know distinguish between multiple rows and I'll be having this as uh, let's just increase the height okay I'll just do it for one interaction uh, so you can you know easily do it let's say let's select you know uh, the first row itself and then move it to the third place uh, so I'll be you know just you know uh, clicking and you know uh, creating an interaction on click I'd be uh, like the same way instead of on click I'll be having on drag right and then my first component like first row should be at the third position okay and I'll be doing a reverse interaction here itself uh, on drag mm, change to on on drag okay great now what we'd be doing would be copying this uh, entire you know section uh, entire variant of a row I'll be just you know replacing this uh, Okay, let me just delete all of these I'll be selecting any one of these and I'll be just replacing it here okay I don't need all those uh, uh, frames now uh, my you know entire interactions in the component itself and my design file is clean uh, okay uh, generally you know we do have a separate file for the components uh, like that's what you know uh, I do in my day-to-day uh, -day practices or you know I create a page at least in the file where you know all of my components are you know uh, 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 are defined and then either I can create a separate file where you know I have all my components defined and I can you know import uh, uh, that file as a library to you know my working directory so my working file is always you know clean and uh, it, it only has the things which it has to be okay now let's uh, quickly test this prototype definitely that should be working now if you see okay I can you know do a drag and drop with a clean slate right I don't have anything uh, in my design file everything is clean and I can still you know do a drag and drop I still have you know sorry yep I still have ability to modify the icons modify the colors of you know all my uh, individual rows and with this you can create the complex interactions with very ease and you know uh, in a systematic manner so I hope guys you have enjoyed this tutorial uh, make sure you have subscribed to the channel if not yet and uh, don't miss to hit the bell icon because that will keep you updated with all our upcoming videos and guys I hope um, you'd be you know uh, sharing this video in your friends uh, and uh, guys please do comment that will help us you know that will keep us uh, enthusiast to create you know all these amazing videos in the future so yes looking forward uh, for all, for your support stay tuned stay healthy stay happy stay creative keep designing